Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and for anyone who is new, welcome and welcome back to a brand new video. I am so excited for today's video. We are going to be giving my dog Luna a full makeover. So if you're excited for that, please go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below and turn on the bell icon so you always know when I post new videos. I post new videos every Tuesday and Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And with that guys, let's get into today's video. Okay, yes, you guys heard me correct. We are going to be giving Luna a makeover in this video. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, Luna is a King Charles Cavalier Spaniel. She is a long-haired dog breed, which means she requires a ton of maintenance. She actually sees our groomer every two months, um, where our groomer gives her a wash, clips her nails, gives her a haircut, blow dries her, all of the work. She gets the full works done. Um, she also sees our vet every three months I think um, for her anal glands because those need to be <laughs> expressed um, and then in between uh, both her grooming sessions she needs a bath here and there because Luna tends to get a little stinky because she eats animal droppings but we're not going to talk about that because <laughs> Luna is a lady and we don't need to talk about that plus it's kind of disturbing so <laughs> Um, yes, so for today's video, we are going to be bathing Luna, brushing Luna. She actually needs to get blow dried because it is winter and she can't just go outside like she does in the summer and dry off. So she will be getting blow dried as well. We will just be making her look nice and pretty and like a little lady again. So without further ado, I will get into the bath clips. I actually filmed this on a different day from what I'm filming right now, so please excuse the outfit change. Um, I'm just wearing clothes that I really don't care about because I do tend to get pretty wet bathing Luna. Luna is not a great bather. She flops, and it's just a whole experience. So I will, without further ado, let um, the bath clips uh, roll, and I will see you guys at the end of the video. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is start getting the large laundry room sink filling with water. I like the water to be pretty warm because Luna does start to get cold quite quickly. Um, so once I found the right temperature, I just plug the sink and let it start filling. Um, here's Kodak, and nope, doesn't want to go in. <laughs> um, but yeah, the sink takes quite a while to fill because it is quite a big sink, but it is the perfect sink for bathing Luna, and it keeps all the water in. Um, speaking of Luna, here she is. She is looking a little nervous, and that's just because baths are really scary to her. The whole experience is really scary to her. Um, I don't know why just is so we're gonna give her lots of love make her feel really comfortable and yeah okay Luna come on Okay, so now I'm just going to ease Luna into the tub. Like I said, this is really scary for her. She gets really nervous. So I'm just going to start letting the water get over her, getting her comfortable. Um, I don't want to go right into it because that will really scare her. So I want her to get comfortable first. And then I will start bathing her. You'll notice throughout these clips, there's a lot of like lifting her. She likes to sit or turn. I think it's an avoidance thing. She does it to my groomer too. It's like she doesn't want us to do it, so she's trying to, without like freaking out on us, she's trying to stop us in some kind of way. Um, she's all, she's done this since we got her. I don't know why. Um, maybe it's because of where she came from and that whole lifestyle. Um, but anyway, like I said, I just try and make her feel as comfortable as possible and make this experience not so scary for her, even though she's scared. Um, you won't actually notice from the video, but Luna loves water. She loves swimming and she loves being in the water. So I just try and make it as comfortable as an experience as I can and hope that that's enough. But you'll notice she's really nervous and she just doesn't really feel comfortable. But don't worry. It's normal for her, and yeah, that's really all I have to say. I just wanted to get that out of the way because some people might go, well, why do you keep lifting her? Or, um, you know, why does she look so scared? It's honestly, that's just her, and I can't give you answers because <laughs> I don't know them myself. So anyway, um, that's all I have to say for now. <laughs> Oh,
Okay, I'm just letting the water drain from the sink now, and I'm going to rinse Luna off because she is almost done. Um, and I just want to make sure I got all of the soap off her. And now I'm going to put her up on our wash machine because it's better for me to access her up there because I'm going to dry her off. So I like to wrap her in something called a little burrito because she's usually pretty cold. Oh, there's a big shake. And um, she's usually pretty cold when she first comes out. And I do this after she goes swimming too. I wrap her up in her little burrito and I give her lots of love and make her feel really special and make her comfortable and warm so that she knows she's loved and um, that the experience hopefully wasn't wasn't as bad <laughs> as she thought it was gonna be um, yeah just give her lots of love and keep her nice and warm and then I'm gonna get into the drying or the first stage of drying she really does not like it because I have to keep her standing and rubber bum and like I said she doesn't like the whole experience um, but yeah I like to give her lots of hugs and just make sure she knows I love her and actually what I'm doing right now is <laughs> something that she actually likes. She likes me drying her face like that. I don't know why, but she likes it. So um, she's coming up to a part though she doesn't like where I have to turn her around and dry her bum. Does not like that and you'll see she kind of flops on me and here's the flop right there. <laughs> um, but yeah, and here comes another shake, the big doggy shake. I love it. And now. <laughs> Alright. Now she's going to do something that I absolutely love. to say her her drying herself off probably her favorite part and my favorite part because I just think it's so cute so now I'm just going to do like the first stage of brushing it is a lot of brushing for Luna she has a lot of fur and it's hard to brush her she doesn't really like it you'll see her turning her head like she's trying to stop me um doing her ears it's just it's not very fun she's all wet and you know water's going everywhere I love how Kodak's just sitting there watching he's gonna swat the brush in a little bit but there he goes <laughs> I have to shoo him away so many times in this video, but yeah, um, just brushing her because I'm going to blow dry her, um, I have to, well, sorry, I have to brush her out so I can cut any knots off with Luna, I can't brush the knots out, that's not something that she'll tolerate, she squeals in pain and it's just not fun, even my groomer, we've just decided that for her sake we just cut any knots, no matter how stupid it may look, um, so I do have to do this part of the brushing because I need to um, see where I can cut or where the knots are um, because I'm just I'm not gonna put her through that she'll just not like it so anyway I'm just going to brush her out and then I'll start blow drying her Okay, 
so here I go starting to cut some knots off around her bum. That is her biggest problem area besides her ears. She gets a lot of knots around her bum. I think because that's the part that kind of squats into the snow, but yeah, so I just cut a few knots off. Try and brush her tail, though she's not really letting me. Um, and then I work on her ears. Um, I don't try and cut too much off her ears, but just right under them. If you guys didn't know, long ear dogs are very prone to ear infections. So you'll see later on, I really do focus on making sure her ears are dry to her displeasure. <laughs> um, but that just helps prevent ear infections. I really want to make sure that there's no water being left behind or anything like that. Um, and to date, Luna has never gotten an ear infection with us. So that's always good. Um, I might make sure my groomer does uh, the same thing where we really make sure her ears get dry. Um, and if she's going outside after to go pee, her ears aren't like in the cold, like we tuck them into a sweater or something. Um, just like I said, just helps keep away any ear infections or anything of that nature um, because long ear dogs are really prone to that. But we've been lucky, so. You'll see me like pushing the blow dryer over to Kodak. Um, I'm just seeing if he'll like it. Uh, he's very curious, but he did not. He did not appreciate me uh, pointing the blow dryer at him or trying to blow dry him at all. No, nope, not happy about it. Um, but he's so curious. Like he's basically here the whole time just watching Luna. Um, Luna's like, please stop. <laughs> um, and I'm just holding her head down to blow dry her. It's not hurting her anything and it's probably better for her because she's not sticking her head in the blow dryer. And I put it on like not the highest heat setting, not the lowest heat setting, but like in the middle. Um, and then when I do do her ears, I put it on the lowest setting so that if it does get in her face, it's not hurting her or anything. Um, not that the medium setting is hurting her anyway. <laughs> But just because it's going to be near her eyes and everything. Um, and you'll see like me cover her face with a towel. It's only just to get um, to the top of her head without scaring her too much. Although she doesn't like her head being covered with a towel either. But I just really want to get the top of her head. There we go. Covering her eyes. And I'm going to put the towel over. It looks like I'm hurting her. I'm really not. Trust me. She can breathe. Um, it just lets me do the top of her head without her freaking out. Um... And I was actually told to do that by my vet, like just try and keep her calm, although she doesn't like that either, <laughs> but it's better than her like totally freaking out with me blow drying her. So yeah, when I hold the blow dryer there like that, it's on like a cold setting or like the setting that doesn't produce any heat, and that's just to try and air dry the ears. Again, it's this thing with the ears, but yeah, lots of twisting and turning and <laughs> anything like that. Out of time You're out of time You're out of time And now Okay, then Come here Yeah, we're gonna do your final brush I know oh, You're out of time oh. Good girl. Okay, guys. So
so wow what a transformation luna looks so good i am so happy with how she turned out i hope you guys really enjoyed the video and i hope you enjoyed seeing luna's little transformation um and i hope you guys uh, kind of understand where i was coming from where she's not a great bathroom there was a lot of flopping um and that whole drying thing yeah that's it's intense anyway guys if you really liked today's video please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below and turn on the bell icon so you always know when i post new videos i post new videos every tuesday and Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And with that, guys, milk and Luna love you. Peace, hugs, and hippie love. Bye, guys. Luna. No, no, go the other way. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Luna. <laughs> go back. Luna, you were so good in your bath today. I got you a Timbit. Yeah? Good, Luna. No, Kodak, don't take it away from her. Ow! <coughs> Kodak, go away. <laughs>